Looks like, uh, so earlier there was, a, as the, the wrestlers were kind of warming up, it sounds like uh, the Iowa State wrestler may have been either dinged up or, or one way or the other. They've decided to kind of hold him out. He didn't weigh in. Um, I certainly don't think it was, he wasn't going to miss weight or anything. So um, he was here, he traveled with the team, but decided they, they didn't weigh him in. And that's kind of the situation that's brought us to where Downey decided, went up to 197. And now Marcus Harrington will come out at, at uh, heavyweight. And he's a 97 pounder wrestling Michael Krell. Number nine in the nation, Michael Krells. 26 and six, two pins, eight major decisions, an All-American a year ago. For Harrington, six and seven as a redshirt freshman. Mac, what's the approach if you're Krails here, knowing the team score already in hand? Yep, so just you just got to take care of business. You know, you're wrestling a, a much smaller opponent, but a guy that probably is a little more athletic than most of the, the heavyweights that he sees. So you got to be ready to, you got to finish your shots clean, use your size advantage, you know, kind of force this guy underneath you a little bit. Don't get into scrambles with him. Not a lot of the heavyweights Krails will see look like Brock Lesnar did no. about a decade and a half ago. Not many people look like Brock Lesnar did. A national champion for Jay Robinson in the early 2000s. Tony Nelson, a champion just a few years ago. Certainly a long, proud tradition for so Minnesota. Cole Conrad as well, too, is a you know, two-time national champ, three-time finalist at a heavyweight, so. We've had, certainly had a good run at, at heavyweight over the years. And a two-point takedown. Krell's got a bar locked up. There's kind of just using that, using your size a little bit there and just, just basically running straight through him. Certainly an option for the heavyweight. Significant size advantage there. One minute left in that first in the first period. St right now, two nothing. The takedown from Krails. You know, Marcus Harrington. He, he's fairly undersized here, but I, I think that we're going to see he's he's got some good stuff coming from him. He's a he's a very good wrestler. Came from you know had a, a great high school career. Won a junior national title up in Fargo. He was a big recruit for Iowa State. You know to get him out of Waterloo. Waterloo West High School. So it, this is a tough situation that they, he was kind of thrown into here today. But I, I think that he's going to be a pretty good wrestler for Iowa State. The near fall now, the count. Krails potentially looking for the third pin, and they'll get an extra four points just before the horn and take a 6-0 lead into period number two. He's counting riding at time for over half of that opening frame. Mac, is that that size advantage that Krails has yeah, over it, a smaller Harrington? It's, it's really tough for, for Harrington when he's on bottom there giving up Likely, probably 60 pounds. It's just, <laughs> that's a lot of weight to be coming down on you. It makes it pretty tough to move down there. He escaped quick. 7 nothing now. Krails leads. Tie up along near that far side out of bounds. Krails 
Looks like he's bringing him back in just before a break. Over halfway through period two. You know, they're really moving pretty good for, for heavyweights. Typically, you see a lot, of, a lot of leaning going on when heavyweights are out there, but these guys are mixing it up pretty good. They're a good shot by Michael Krails. Two-point takedown. Again, here you kind of see that that weight's kind of coming down on Harrington a little bit. He, he's he's not, not able to do much down there. It's more just kind of survival mode. Mac, what are you seeing out of Krails? Showing a little athleticism? Yep. Yeah, he's wrestling a, a smaller guy, so he's able to kind of use his, his strength and his size advantage to move him a little bit, put him into, get him out of position, get those angles that he needs so that he can, uh, he can get to his shots. Yeah, that's kind of where, where Michaels a little bit got himself in trouble in a couple matches so far. The, the one that you know really sticks out to me is Billy Smith of Rutgers is a match where he just kind of waited, 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 wouldn't, you know, didn't do a lot, ended up getting beaten overtime, and you know, had a, he took a, a shot right at the end and almost, I think he almost scored to to win it, but he just waited too long. He leads nine nothing. Over two minutes of riding time built up. That's a great shot there by Harrington. Got in real deep, but like I said, that just that those big old Christmas hams on on Krails are not going to be easy to lift. Krails goes for the takedown and gets it. Two points now, adding towards that riding time. So he's got a 12-point lead with riding time. If he can get a turn right here, he'd get to that tech fall, that 15-point lead and end the match, and that's what's going to happen. Nearly on cue, Mac. He goes for the turn. And he gets that's the it. four points. 15-0. And the final whistle does, in fact, come. It'll be a 16-0 finish with the riding time. Points for Minnesota, the final score of the duel, Minnesota 30, Iowa State 10.